everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. Today I'm going to do a review for you on a self-tanning product called Tanceuticals CC Color Correct Self-Tanning Body Lotion. And here is what the box look, looks like. All right, the company sent this to me to try and I was happy to do it because here in New England it tends to be cold and rainy for the entire spring and then all of a sudden the 15th of May comes along and poof, the sun comes out and nobody has a tan but we're all wearing shorts and t-shirts. So it came in just in time for spring in New England. So anyway, let me just tell you a little bit about the product at first. So here is what the inside looks like. You get a nice big tube. This is 4.2 ounces and they sent it to me in the color dark. But this is much more than your basic self tanner because it's also really good for your skin. It contains acai berry, mango butter, and vitamin E. So all those things can soak into your skin while you're tanning and make your skin more moist and more youthful looking. Now this also has a very strong coconut scent. The reason it's coconut scented is to mask the scent of the self tanner which is a smell that nobody likes and I gotta say this coconut scent is so strong that you will not smell the any self tanner smell at all but I don't know if I just got used to it quickly or if it dissipated quickly but I put it on and while I'm putting it on yes my whole bathroom smelled like coconut so if you really hate coconut scent this is not for you but it smells very summery you don't smell like a coconut after you wash it off all right, so the way that this tanning product works is that you take a shower and exfoliate your skin. Then when you come out and dry yourself off, you apply this with a mitt, and this is the mitt that they supplied. I think you buy this separately on the website. The way that you apply it is you put on the mitt, squirt a little bit on, and then you apply it in circular motions wherever you want to tan. Okay. Now they recommend starting at your feet if you're doing your whole body and working up to the top. Okay. So then you wait about 15 minutes for it to feel dry. Then after that you put your clothes on and then you need to wait about seven to eight hours for it to really set and absorb into your skin. And the best way to do that is to go to bed. So then I went to bed and then I woke up in the morning. Then you take another shower and then bam, you're tan and good to go. And I gotta say, this stuff worked great. It does take a little practice to get it right on the packaging. It says that you will not have any streaks or any seams or anything. Uh, you, it takes a little practice. So I did have, the first time I used it, uh, uh, one leg was <laughs> kind of darker than the other. I had um, kind of a line at the edge of my toes where I didn't go. But after you use it the first time, you can see what your mistakes were and then you can fix them. You know, the problem is you can't really see where it's going. Let me just show you what it looks like. It comes out this color. So it's not really a color. And as you rub it in, now I'm going to have a tanner spot. As you rub it in, you can't see where it's going. All right, so that is my only problem with it is that you can't really tell where you're putting it. And so that's why it's kind of hard and you need to practice a little bit with it. The other thing I did is after I finished, even though my hand was in the mitt, I thought some might come through the mitt. So I took a makeup removing towelette and I just rubbed just the palms with this so that I could get all the tanner off so my palms didn't get tan. Because I find that if I've done a self tanner and then I wash with soap and water, I get these funny little water, you know, marks on my, the outsides of my fingers. So that was no good. So that's a little tip for you there. By the way, the color does not get on the sheets. Uh, it also did not get on my pajamas, so it's not gonna stain your clothes or your sheets. Uh, so that was a good thing. So in the morning I got up, I took a shower, and then, wow, I was tan. Like I said, I did make a couple of mistakes the first time. I would say that if you are going to use a product like this, never put it on for the very first time the night before your big event because if you've made some mistakes you want to have some time to fix them. The way to do it is you have to kind of be careful and measured about how much you're putting onto each area of your body and I tried to do it just between the joints. So I would do like this part of my arm and I would use just a little dime sized amount and then I would do this part of my arm use another dime. If I was doing say my thigh which is obviously you know bigger than my arm I would use more like a nickel size amount. I would rub it all over my forearm. I do the parts I wanted to be darkest first. So the backs of my hands, down the tops of my fingers, that part of my arm. Then without adding any more product, I kind of tried to feather it around to the lighter side. So I did that. So a lot of feathering really helps to get it smooth and even. 
And then I did that all over my body. You would apply less to drier areas like kneecaps and elbows, and I found that my toes, you know, the tops of my toes and the tops of my fingers accepted more because apparently that skin is drier as well. And then I tried to just feather it up my neck and into my hairline so that it didn't look so, uh, you know, so I didn't have like a line here or a line here. Once I got the hang of it, I really love this stuff. I love the color that it came out. Let me show you my, whoops, my arms. I feel like it's all nice and smooth and even. Okay, so you can see how this hand is a little bit darker than right here on my wrist. So like I said, the hand where the skin is a little bit um, drier, it came out a little bit darker. And I'll bring in some pictures. Here is the before and after of the first time I did my legs, so you can see how white they were on uh, the one side, and then you can see the color they came out overnight. Okay, and if you're a golden tanner, this is a great product for you because as you can see, while I'm not orange, I'm very golden. This will last for four or five days if you then moisturize your skin every day. It'll last, you know, almost, a, not seven days, but say four days, you can see that it's really starting to wear off. And by the fifth day, you kind of need to apply. So anyway, I think overall, I am giving this like two big thumbs up. This is a great product. I'm so glad I have it. I'm going to continue to use it all summer. So thank you, Tanceuticals, for sending this my way. I really like it. I can highly recommend it if anyone's interested in a uh, self-tanner that is also good for your skin, that doesn't smell like that horrible self-tanner smell, that gives you a beautiful golden glow, this is a great product. All right, so that's my review of the Tanceuticals CC Self-Tanning Body Lotion. Uh, I hope if you're looking for one that you'll give this one a try. So thanks everybody for watching. As always, take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.